I was born to the CEOs of a multi-million dollar aerospace company. I grew up with everything a kid could want, and then some. But I was practically raised by my nannies since my parents were always busy. They tried to make time for me, but I didn't really have their attention, and I craved it. I think that's why I was in such a hurry to start talking. I was forming my first words when I was only one, and by the time I was two, I could speak short sentences. And once I started talking properly, a rocket couldn't have stopped me. How was your first day of school, honey? Oh, it was so good. I felt kind of scared, but then the teacher with the black hair and the green eyes and the big ears came and took me to class. And my classroom was so nice and it's all yellow and there was 20, no, 21, no, wait, no, 20 kids and they're all my friends. That's because I gave them all markers and my first class was about alphabets and it was boring. And then I saw a boy's butt crack and I started laughing at it and the teacher looked mad, but then... Sweetie, that's lovely. Why don't you just eat your food now? I was at the best part, Daddy. Oh, now I have to start again. Okay, so my first day of school, I just had this need to interact with people. I chatted to strangers in the park, at the grocery store, at the cinema. When my friends came over for play dates, I tried to make them stay as long as I possibly could. But you haven't seen our basement yet. It's really cool and I think it's haunted. And you still haven't met my imaginary friends. Okay, how about I show you my magic tricks? I even talked to people in my sleep. My parents found me exhausting, and soon my teachers started complaining about my disruptive behavior in class. I was tested for ADHD, but there wasn't anything wrong with me. She's very bright and just seeks attention a little more than other kids. It's not uncommon in an only child, and she'll grow out of it. Do you spend quality time with her? Well, we try, but we're very, very busy. The doctor recommended some activities we could do together every day, but of course, my parents couldn't keep up. Then one day when I was eight, my whole life changed. I got home from school to find my parents in the living room with a beautiful older girl who didn't look very happy. Kate, we have some exciting news. Come meet Lola. She's 11 and she's your new sister. She's my sister? But I didn't see your tummy growing, Mom. Where did she come from? Why is she so big? Why is her hair red? What? Honey, she's our employee's daughter, and we've adopted her. I'll explain to you later what that means. Why don't you say hello and show her to her room? Lola still hadn't spoken a word, but I talked nonstop as I took her hand and led her away. And then she shut the door in my face. She didn't even come down for dinner later. My parents said she just needed time to adjust and I should give her space. I tried really hard, but I just couldn't fall asleep and crept into her room. I quietly opened the door and found her sitting next to a carton crying. Lola, what's wrong? Nothing. I was just looking at some old things and it made me sad. Ooh, space boots. My dad got them for me when I was your age. I always wanted to be an astronaut. Well, you should. It'll be so cool. Yeah, but my dad won't be there to see me become one. As the tears rolled down her cheeks, I suddenly hugged her tight and she didn't push me away. I'll be there to see you take off on a rocket. I'll always be there for you, Lola. Lola smiled, then suddenly hopped onto the armchair and held out a hand to me. Want to take a closer look at the Milky Way? Welcome aboard the North Star Express. We imagined flying through the universe dodging meteors and alien spaceships, and it was the best <laughs> night of my life. And I quickly grew to love Lola. She had long red hair that she let me braid as much as I wanted. She'd play with me whenever I asked, even if she was in the middle of something. And soon, I became as obsessed with everything space-related as she was. We both dressed up in matching Princess Leia outfits that Halloween, and everyone in the neighborhood agreed we looked incredible. Let's be Buzz Lightyear next time. Sure thing. Lola was an excellent student too, and she helped me with my studies. But my teachers still complained about my behavior, and Lola had a solution for that too. I used to get really scared of making speeches in class, so my dad showed me a trick. I'd hold on to a penny so I could channel all my fear into it. It totally works. So whenever you feel the urge to talk during lessons, just hold on to this and channel all your energy into it and save all your stories for me. My parents were so proud of my progress and they adored Lola. Life seemed perfect. But then Lola started high school and everything started changing. <laughs>